uh, <clears throat> recording. I'm Clark Kent, and this is the uh, goddess Circe. Struggle not against your magical binds, dear man. I have chosen you to spread the word of a goddess. You should be honored. Oh, I am, I think. So, uh, tell me about your history, um, goddess Circe. I am magic made flesh. I arose to power on Mount Olympus, and am now risen to lead those who embrace magic as the true power on this earth. That's, uh, quite an outfit, Miss Circe. Um, goddess Circe. So, is it, uh, historical? <laughs> How sweet, Mr. Kent. You're blushing. History? What does mortal history mean to a goddess? I wear what I will. Magic is my only guideline, and it knows no human rules. So, uh, tell me about Wonder Woman, Miss, uh, Goddess Cersei. I understand you're not friends? Ha! That upstart princess. She was created by the Olympian gods and should bow to me, yet she will not. Not friends? Mr. Kent is an understatement. Uh, let me get this straight, um, Goddess Cersei. You claim Wonder Woman is, uh, trying to steal your powers? Yes, Mr. Kent. An ancient prophecy tells of a dark-haired daughter of Themyscira destined to wear my mantle. But it goes far beyond the prophecy. She defies the very primacy of magic with her talk of freedom! So, uh, you're an Olympian god, Cersei. Hmm? So, why aren't the Amazons working with you and, uh, not Wonder Woman? You dare! The Amazons have denied their goddess to stand with the upstart Wonder Woman. As a magical race, their place is with me, and they will bow to me. Oh, yes, they will. So I understand you have magic minions, the, uh, beastie morphs? Yes, Mr. Kent. My beastie morphs. Humans transformed into their true natures. They worship me utterly, of course. As all magical beings should. <laughs> Why, Clark, are my magical bonds too tight? Do stop struggling. So, uh, the Sentinels of Magic, what do they think of your leading the new generation of magic users? <laughs> the Sentinels of Magic. Dr. Fate and Zatanna's pets? <laughs> my allies control the flame of life and the deadly sins of man. They bring forth the eclipse of reason. What could the Sentinels possibly mean to me? So, goddess, uh, Circe, the Exabytes, they're technical, yet they contain magic from the future. How... All things are connected, little man. Who can tell the wonders of genetics from the spells of magic, from the deepest realms of technological mastery? They shall all be mine, once magic rules. It's been a uh, wonderful chatting, Goddess Cersei, but I have a deadline, if you'll excuse me. What? My magical bond's broken? How? <laughs> oh, Mr. Kent. We all have our little secrets. Oh, I uh, learned knots in Boy Scouts, Miss uh, Cersei. I'll be going now. The powers of the gods are not to be questioned. My own are almost limitless. Founded in the very fires of Olympus. All magic is the realm of the gods, as all lesser beings must learn. My bestiomorphs are more than a mere army. They are my magic made flesh, transforming something small and flawed into a powerful, utterly obedient slave, free from all worldly desires. Except the desire to serve me, of course. Mortals exist for a single reason, to serve the gods. Anyone with the slightest hint of magic knows their superiority over those who do not. They are gifted with mysteries mere mortals will never understand. Wonder Woman, for all her fine talk of truth and liberty, I know her true goal to replace me in the hearts and minds of mortals, to steal the power that is mine. Ha! <laughs> Let her try. We will see the power of a goddess 
over a mere princess. It does not take a goddess to see that women are greatly superior to men. Look at Lex Luthor and the Joker, obsessed with their petty agendas, whereas I seek to set the world to rights. Once magic rules, all men will serve me as it should be. Lex Luthor. Since he has no magic of his own, he seeks it in genetics. A strong man, but one who believes he is superior to all others. Ha! As if any man could be the match of the goddess Circe. The Joker. A fool. But then fools are sacred to the gods. I do not believe his mind is truly human any longer, but his vendetta against Batman consumes him. He is no threat to me.